Well, obviously I'm passionate about city politics at the local level, but as I get to uh, meet people across the country who work for county governments, who are running departments of transportation, who work for health departments around, this, around the country, and then meet with state representatives uh, and also at the federal level, politics is getting younger. It's getting easier for younger people to, um, I think, see themselves as viable candidates and also to gain support from the public who's frankly getting tired of the way things have been and the age of people who have been largely running the show, whether it's at the local or up to the federal level. So the door for younger people to enter into politics I don't think has ever been as wide open as it is right now, particularly for women. When I first ran for office about seven or eight years ago, um, in the state of Utah, only 16% of elected offices were held by women. Today, we're pushing about 24%, but we're half the population, so we still have a long ways to go, but it is going in that right direction. I'll also mention that uh, we know from our friends at the nonprofit Voterize that in the state of Utah, there are 300,000 women who are qualified to register to vote and are not registered to vote. And many of those are younger women, uh, people who have just become old enough to be able to vote and are in their 20s. So we have a huge opportunity. And could you imagine that even if half of those women became registered to vote and exercised that right, how that could swing elections here in the state of Utah? So the opportunity for youth to engage both with activating your vote and showing up to political conversations at the local to the federal level is wonderful right now. There's a lot of us wanting you to be involved.